this video is going to be about the Pandenberg disaster and what historians believe led up to the crisis. This won't include the death count, by the way, since I forgot. So, yeah, no need to worry about that. And here we go. Okay. So, the Hindenburg disaster happened in 1959. No, 1935. And it was when the airship was mainly abandoned because of its hydrogen air tanks and Germany was mainly the only country who still used airships in that time period since of their hydrogen filled compartments in the balloon that let it fly which meant it could if it just overheated it probably could explode and cause a fiery explosion. So, they mainly abandoned it and instead went for planes instead since those just rely on the wings and engine. But Germany still thought that airships were still viable for massive amount of transportation because at the time most planes could only carry about like around like 25 to 30 people that was the max at least in that time and like now where they can haul like 60 people or 50 so Airships were your main priority if you wanted mass uh, transportation device back then. But it was risky because, like I said, it could have a fire explosion at any point. And the Germans were the only one to left in the airship thing. And in 1935, that's when everything changed. You see, the Hindenburg was sent to um, uh, New York, to land in New York with all the passengers. There was a stuntman who was performing on the top of the Zeppelin. And he was a famous dared devil who'd be doing dangerous stunts back then and he had a camera on board and here's theory number one of why it happened was because the camera's lenses because of the sunlight it bounced off onto the balloon and then it started overheating the hydrogen compartments and now, um, and here's the second theory that one of the hydrogen compartments had a leak which caused it to let air in and air is a vital fuel for um, fires and when that air came in the fire started and caused a fiery explosion since hydrogen is explosive especially when lit a flame. So, uh, that's the second theory. But third theory, and most unlikely one, was that someone accidentally threw a cigarette on the floor, causing it to result in a fiery explosion since because of the hydrogen tanks. And they were supposed to be in a special compartment that had venting outside. And that's the most unlikely theory, but it might be possible. And that's going to be it for this video. Also, um, not, the, not a majority of the people on this 
up and made it out alive. But most were, who made it were severely injured, though, because when it blew up was when it was still landing, which meant it was still in air, and if you tried jumping out, you'd probably end up dying from the fall instead of the fire explosion. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Bye!